never seen a building like that before. It looks like some kind of temple. Never saw anything like this back on the island. signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. frozen in the ice. I wonder how long they've been in that ice. I wonder what the soul can do this kind of thing. you come <laughs> Thank you. 
where'd you come from? Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your wretched companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. My
We can do this. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Earth. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. What you trickery is this? What is it? So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Oh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Please, take the bow. It's yours. 
Even with Vertha gone, and the inner sanctum destroyed, my duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel remains. I have been sworn to protect this veil and everything it represents until I die. For the time being, they will remain open. If remnants of our kind who escaped the betrayal at the hands of the Dwarfs exist out there, perhaps they will find this place one day. May Oriel keep you free from harm. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Farewell, friend. May the glow of Oriel shield you from your enemies. It's... Not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. Have you been paying attention? It's obvious my father's well beyond reason. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. It's good to speak to you again. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Why did it fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory? That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nurm. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Absolutely. I... Absolutely. I... Absolutely. I can only... I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. Farewell, friend. May the glow of Oriel shield you from your enemies. Yes?
It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. So I am. I guess we could use my blood. Do you have any arrows? Elven arrows? I'm not going to just bleed on any old thing. Oh. All right, then. I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me.